The serval chat application for using the serval mesh has been available on Android for some time now, but we haven't until now had a, a working version for iOS for Apple phones. But a grant from the Internet Foundation, an exchange student from Interleon in France, means that we're actually changing this. The grant from the Internet Foundation enabled us to implement the necessary RESTful APIs, the iOS cross-compilation, and all the supporting frameworks and back-end work to make the serval core library uh, run on an iPhone. And then the exchange student from Interleon has been working on the front end. Uh, all of this together turned out to be quite a, a bit more involved than we'd expected, but the result is actually really nice. Uh, we've now got a, a more or less a working version of serval chat uh, that can run on iPhones. And just like on the Android version, you can create identities so that multiple people can share a single phone. You can send and receive MeshMS text messaging, which is the serval equivalent to SMS. And you can send and receive MeshMB micro blog posts, which is the serval mesh equivalent to something like Twitter. One of the things that we were quite keen to confirm was interoperability between the existing Android version of the app and the new iOS version of the app, so that you know, different phone types would be able to communicate with each other. And we expected a lot more trouble than we had with this. We're actually able to confirm it really quite easily, connecting uh, both devices to a mesh extender in the lab. We also weren't sure whether the iOS devices would allow access to the serval mesh extender Wi-Fi because it doesn't provide access to internet connection. Uh, but we're actually really relieved to discover that, at least with iOS 12, that this is actually quite easy uh, to do. All you have to do is uh, tap on the link that comes up on the landing page uh, for the Wi-Fi and follow any link, and that seems to be enough to uh, make the uh, Apple device think that there's a reason to be connected to the access point. And then when you choose cancel, it lets you say, yeah, uh, you know, I'll continue even though there's a, a lack of internet connectivity. So overall, we've now got a, a functioning prototype of the serval chat application for iOS. It can work with Android devices. It can work with mesh extenders. There's a few little remaining bits and pieces that we need to do. Uh, around uh, you know blocking, ignoring, and subscribing to different uh, uh, feeds and contacts, and then after that we've got a little bit of an interesting adventure then to try and get the app approved for inclusion in the Apple App Store. Uh, but for now, the most critical question has been answered, which was whether it's even possible to make a working version of uh, Serval Chat that could run on uh, an, an iOS device, and whether that would be interoperable with the existing Android device. And those aren't questions we've uh, really answered. Uh, you know, uh, in the affirmative, so we're, we're pretty happy with that.